from the judge of the Israeli Supreme Court to hear what it must, what what it is like to be uh, an Arab minority. Very interesting to to see the same problems in each country about multiculturalism. One of the most important things for me is that I get together with my friends, which I love. It was great to meet people from different countries, to hear different views, and obviously the highlight was the gala dinner last night. Special moments was just tonight. I mean, with all people from the association sharing the tables, I enjoyed dinner and was really touched my heart. Seeing old friends that I see get a chance to see only at the conference once a year. One of the things that I really, uh, I really hadn't known about that I heard that was really I found very interesting is uh, Peter Schuck's um, uh, uh, remark that uh, in fact most of those who benefit from uh, um, affirmative action uh, in favor of the black community in the United States are not descendants of blacks but rather immigrants or descendants of immigrants from Caribbean countries and places like that. The most powerful point in this uh, conference I think was for me the panel that dealt with minority and majority uh, rights in democratic states. The most powerful part of the conference was seeing so many Jewish people in this historical magnificent room in a very high level academic conference, uh, which was both important and moving uh, for us as lawyers and as Jews. So it's interesting to have these different national perspectives in one package and uh, even more interesting uh, if uh, sometimes the national positions don't match with the national stereotypes. So that was perhaps uh, the most insightful moment on today's panel at this very interesting conference. Mr. Goodhart spoke about how liberalism, the utopian liberalism, has to today uh, confront uh, the challenges uh, faced by public opinion, populism that uh, stem out of maybe liberalism going a little bit too far. I was especially pleased to uh, see the attention that was given to majority rights, uh, which are often ignored in situations of this kind where multiculturalism is, uh, is defended. It's usually on the basis of minority rights. I think for me the, the moment that was the best was actually related to my own session because I was very pleased to see how much uh, convergence there was between Professor Jakobsen, Professor uh, Olgaard, David Goodhart and myself. Amazing presentation of uh, Professor Jakobsen about multiculturalism. Sitting beside people who I admire like uh, former Justice Salim Dubon of the Supreme Court. The same goes for Professor Amon Gorinstein. Amazing experts and good speakers. I think that it was a, an important milestone in the history of our association. For me, the highlight was Wednesday, the uh, opening evening, seeing everybody that I've met before. This is my third conference this year. It was for me very emotional to see uh, to coming in Rome, my city, all the people from all over the world. When at the conference this morning it was mentioned that Professor Amnon Rubinstein suggested the topic of multiculturalism, which is not purely legal, but encompasses the range of problems and challenges of our era. When the panelist has said that respect to individual dignity it's a way to warranty collective security. Hey, this is a very great moment for me in a new conference.